Hi guys, in this video we're going to look at how you can generate a random number using a random class. So we're going to jump straight into it. So I'm going to um, create a new project, I'm just going to call it random. And I'm just going to go with API 9 as a minimum SDK, blank activity, and leave that as default. Okay, so we're going straight into our XML layout. What I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly place the button just here. And we're going to go into our text. I'm just going to reformat this layout by pressing Control Alt L, and I'm going, to go, I'm going to highlight this text view, and I'm just going to enlarge it because we're going to have it display our random number. So I'll just type text size, and have it as 30 SP. That's fine. And then our button, I'm going to leave it as new new button. I'm just going to generate an on-click method, and I'm going to call it generate. So here it's saying it wants us to create a, a generate method in our main activity so we'll click on that and there's our generate method. So what we want to do is so when we click when we click this button it's going to generate a random number in this text view. So inside here we're just going to call up the random class random and it's going to want to import that so you just go ahead and alt and enter and it'll import that class. So we're going to create a random object, so I'm just going to call it rand. And we want equals a new random object. And semicolon. And now what we're going to do, we're going to declare an integer uh, variable. We're just going to call it num or number. We'll just call it number. So we've declared our integer number. And now we're going to initialize it with our random number. So we need to call up rand which is our random object and dots and we look at all these different methods that we can use so we can generate we can generate an integer a random integer we can generate a random boolean value true or false a uh, random double a random float long so we what we want is we want this integer so we want to um, generate a random number whole random whole number so we we'll we'll click on that, and inside these brackets is the value of the of the number we, that we want. So if we say, for example, to put ten, it would generate ten random numbers. Now that's not one to ten; that's actually zero to nine because it would it could it could generate zero as well. So it would generate zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, which is ten values. But if we want to, so we want to emulate a dice, which is obviously one to six. So six six numbers, six possible numbers, one, two, three, four, five, six. But if we put in six, it'll actually generate zero, one, two, three, four, five. So we don't want that. So what we have to do is we have to plus one. So if it generates a zero, that's how we turn it into a one. And then, and when it generates a five, it would turn it into a six. We put plus one afterwards and we finish off with a semicolon. So that's essentially how we generate a random number. What it's done here is it's initialize this variable number, this integer number with a random integer from 0 to 5 plus the 1. So what we want to do now is we want to put that value inside this text view uh, which is uh, this ID which is text view. So we need to create a text view object we call it my text just call it my text equals text view and find view by ID so we're going to find the view by its ID and its ID is text view so it says so here and we'll find that in r dot id dot text view so we've referenced the text view object this to this text view ID. Now what we need to do now is declare a string variable which we call my string. And this is going to be equal to what we need to do is we need to we want to turn this number that's returned, this 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 random number, we want to turn that into a string because we can't put 
strings into text we can't put numbers integers into text views we have to convert them to a string so we're going to convert this number into a string so we call string dot value of and so we're going to convert this value into a string so we want to put in number and now we just call our text view which is called my text dot and we want to set the text of that view to the value of my string so we just insert my string into those parentheses and that's it so we'll just run that so we click on our button generate a random number from 1 to 6 so obviously if you want to change that from 1 to 100 we just change that value and there's our random number and if we want to uh, generate a random say right, random decimal number we we'll just change this to float and obviously we want to we wanna call the next float and we delete this and run our app and it will generate a random decimal number and obviously we can just put in after that we can put in say times 10 or times 100 And it changes the, the, the uh, moves the decimal place. So there's how we generate a random number. Thanks for watching and thanks for subscribing, guys.